Good evening. This is your host for the In the Spotlight program, Earl Morgan. I'm here with my um, co-host, Kenya Bland. Good evening. Uh, how's your week been going? Very fast. Now I have the same kind of a problem. It seems like every time I sit down, somebody wants me to stand up. Yes. But we have a very, very, very good show today. Uh, we have some people here that are doing something that is so incredible. I just I don't say about it. Innovate. Innovate, yeah. They're, they're actually, it's a, what you would call this, I guess, a private public partnership. Uh, we have here in, in, in our program here, which is at the Brightside Tavern, 141 Bright Street. We invite everybody to come down here and check this place out. Food is great, drinks are great, uh, and the company is fantastic. But we have in, this, in the uh, program tonight, we have Hudson County Freeholder Bill O'Day, an old and dear friend of mine, um, who is one of the initiators of this program. We also have Joseph Panapento, one of the premier developers in Jersey City, I mean real estate developers, who's, who like Bill myself, was born here in Jersey City from the bottom of his toes to the top of his head, including that Roman, Romanesque schnoz, as I call his nose. And we have Pat Keller from the uh, Hudson County Council of, uh, uh, what is it, Hudson County Council of? Sorry. He's the Hudson County Trade Council. Trade Council, Council. I'm sorry, Hudson County Trade Council. I forgot, I've known Pat Keller for, I saw him tonight and I said, gee, I haven't seen this guy in so long. Um, you know, I think the point is that they show collaborations work, and we should do it more often. Well, not only that, but they have done something so, something that we, the city's been struggling to do. They just did it. And the first thing I want to, uh, to, 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 before we even get into that tonight, I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming forum we have for the 31st Assembly District. And who's our moderator? Well, I'm the moderator. The, 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 uh, it's the Aston neighborhood. Well, actually, Bite is the Bite. Yes. Uh, which is the Black. The Black Interest Team Enterprise. Their political action committee is doing it, and it will be May 22nd, and doors open at 5 p.m., 60 Crescent Avenue in Jersey City. Lincoln High School. Which is Lincoln High School. Earl Moore <coughs> and my alma mater. And Mike, right, both of us are both uh, graduates of Lincoln. And, uh, so let me tell you, know, you something interesting about the forum. One of our candidates dropped out, and we were down to eight. And Who then there out? were eight. Who dropped out? Um, Dejan. Dejan dropped out, and I'm hearing that there's some other people who may be reconsidering their... Uh, well, we knew that this had the makings of a two... Uh, party base, right? Well, usually it is a two-party race. But I want you to know the Republicans are coming on strong. Well, they they're are. Coming. It's they're important. Coming. It's, it's important, though, Earl, because we want all voices represented. Oh yeah. It's time. Uh, they may have something to tell us that the Hudson County Democratic Organization, or as my colleague at the Jersey Journal, Augie Torres, calls it the Hudson County Dead Organization, <laughs> has not got to offer. And uh, we should listen to all voices at all times. So, and we, you may be right because I want you to know that one of the young men, um, this Matthew, you should hear the things that he's done. You know, we always have a short film clip of what each person has done that's running. This man was building houses in Haiti. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So we have. It, it's going to be an interesting forum. We're going to talk about all the issues on a state level, but all politics is local. That's right. So we shall be uh, really getting boring in on how the assembly person, woman, man, whatever, is going to be able to impact his or her district on a local level, especially in terms of economics, because that's what we really need. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm so glad these guys are here tonight. They're talking about economics. So we shall be going, we're going to go on a break for a minute. We'll be back with our first guest. 